Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus FeBr3. This is potassium hydroxide plus iron 3 bromide. So the first thing we need to do when we write these net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see right here I have three bromine atoms and just one here. So I'm going to put a 3 in front of the KBr. Balances the bromines, now I have three potassiums. Let's put a 3 here. So the potassiums are balanced, but we have three hydroxides. That's okay. We have three hydroxides here, and we have one iron on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance, and that looks like this. Compounds with potassium are almost always soluble. So we have our KOH, that's going to be soluble, and our KBr, that'll be soluble as well. Compounds with the bromide ion in general, they're soluble too. Overall, hydroxides are insoluble, with a few exceptions like KOH or NaOH. But most of the time, these hydroxides, they're insoluble. That means they're going to be a solid, and they'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So these substances will react, we'll get this solid, and it falls to the bottom of the test tube, and that's our precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that the solid, this iron 3 hydroxide right here, we do not split solids apart when we write net ionic equations. So we'll keep that together. Everything else is aqueous. We split it up. We can now cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, I can see I have three of these potassium ions. I also have that in the products. So these are spectator ions. Cross those out. I have three bromide ions in the reactants and in the products. So these are spectator ions. I'll cross those out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for KOH plus FeBr3. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus iron 3 bromide. You'll note charges balanced. We have a 3 plus, 3 times 1 minus. That's 3 minus. So this adds up to 0 net charge of zero. Over here, this is neutral, net charge of zero. So charges conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for KOH plus FeBr3. Thanks for watching.